Today we'll look at cybercrime and some cases of serious hacking, with MIT students finally digging the holy grail of hacking tradition, Iran's plan to shut down the internet, and the virus that could leave 4 million users without internet connection in July. Last week, the FBI announced that about 4 million users worldwide, hundreds of thousands in the US, could lose their internet connection as of July. Affected is everybody whose computer is infected with a certain virus. Yeah. Here's the story. Last year, the FBI took out a massive hacker ring that had infected millions of computers. However, they couldn't just pull the plug on the fraudulent network, since all the infected computers were relying on the rogue servers for their internet browsing. So instead, the FBI replaced all the rogue servers by governmental ones. However, this has cost almost 90,000 bucks so far, so the government decided to peace out on July 9th. Doom day for every infected user. Ooh, shit. What if I'm infected? No worries. Here's what you can do. The FBI recommends to visit this website. Here, you can find out how to check if you're infected and what to do if that proves to be the case. For more information on this case, you can check out this article by the Huffington Post. All the links will be served al dente on techpolitics.com. Iran has been hit by a major cyber attack. The virus was directed at the Iranian oil ministry and its main oil export terminals. The virus has struck their computer and communication system. However, luckily for the Iranians, the oil production and oil export were not affected by the attack. Interesting. It happens that the US and the European Union are massively trying to cut off Iranian oil exports at the moment. Iran has been under cyber attacks for the last few years. For example, in 2010, the computer worm Stuxnet has hit many Iranian nuclear sites. An Iranian IT expert with very close ties to the government has been quoted by The Guardian saying this. Iran has fears of an outside cyber attack like that of the Stuxnet and is trying to protect its sensitive data from being accessible on the internet by creating a secure intranet. Yeah, we know the continuation of the story from news headlines just a few weeks ago. Iran to shut down internet permanently for what they call a clean internet. And that means Instead of the World Wide Web, Iran is working on a countrywide national intranet without Facebook, Google, Yahoo, or Hotmail. Iran search. Yeah, maybe this way they would be better able to protect their sensitive data against outside attacks, but also sounds a lot like internet control to me. In fact, only registered users could serve the Iranian intranet which means like no web anonymity anymore at all, and also only approved websites would be accessible. These comments of Iranian officials cited by the International Business Times really gave me the creeps. Risa Tagipur, Iran's Minister for Information and Communication Technology, said, the internet promotes crime, disunity, unhealthy moral content, and atheism, and that government's goal is to eliminate the online scourges. Another Iranian official called Facebook users a threat to Islamic values. Iran is a theocracy, that means it is ruled through religious authority. Well, I think that the Iranian regime fears developments that could come with an open internet. For example, like the Arab Spring that happened by the beginning last year, when citizens in Tunisia, Egypt and Libya coordinated their efforts to overthrow their regime on social media. After a storm of outrage from the international community, the Iranian Ministry for Information and Communication Technology started to deny their plans for the clean internet. A questionable denial though, since processes to register citizens for the intranet are actually taking place already. <music> Student hackers have turned a huge building on the MIT campus into a giant Tetris. With a console, people were able to move, rotate and even drop the blocks. Tetris on the green building is an over 20 year old idea that has long been considered as the holy grail of MIT hacking tradition. I'm not going to leave you without a recommendation today. This article on Mashable provides a very basic but good overview about cyber attacks. You can check basic facts, the most common attack types, and tips for prevention. All the links, as always, you can find on tech-politics.com.